All right, hello again. And we are going to move on to a region that we've all probably thought about before. We probably already know all the structures that we're talking about, but we just want to make sure that we're all on the same page in terms of the, the visible structures of the eyeball or the globe of the eye. So let's start with the fibrous layer. By far the, the most uh, easy to identify, and the only one you can really clearly see in this particular image, is the sclera of the eye. So this is that, the majority of this region. Uh, colloquially we refer to the sclera as the whites of the eye. So anything that is going to be white in this region, we're thinking, we're looking at the sclera. Now the cornea you can't see clearly in this image. Clor the cornea is going to be the one-sixth one of the anterior portion of the fibrous layer. So the reason you can't really see it very here, well here is because really you're focused more on seeing the iris. But you'd be kind of covering this region on the anterior portion of the eye. So sclera, anything that's white, and then the cornea would be more in this region, but not clear to see here because uh, really the, the focus or what you can actually see um, or what your kind of eyes are drawn to are the iris of, the, of this image. So uh, recall that the cornea is going to be avascular. Now moving on to the vascular layer or the uvea, you are going to have two visible structures that we want you to pay attention to. The first is the iris. All right, so we've all thought about the iris. We always usually know the color, colors of a loved one's eyes. And so that's going to be this portion. This is a diaphragm right here. You're going to have two muscles associated with the iris. Um, and you can kind of read about those in terms of the, the learning objectives. Now, right here in the middle, you have an aperture that's very important in terms of transmitting light, and that is the pupil. So if you're trying to uh, understand the difference between the two in this vascular layer, the iris is the portion that is going to be different colors in uh, individuals. The black portion in the middle is the pupil. As we all know, it can change size dependent on different types of stimulation. And so that's going to be this middle portion right here. So all things that we've probably thought about before, and I think um, we just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page before we move into any of the, the deeper structures in terms of the eyeball. Thank you for your time.